Martin, though, very, very confident. At his best, a superb turn runner. Has run 19-1-9 and 19-3-0. Has not lost a 200 in four years. That's 16 races. The streak is on the line tonight in Kingston. That's Jason Young. He's in lane two in the House of Speed. Okay, Lashmead and Warren Weir, beware of them. They are going to be in the mix. Good start by Johan Blake, Soto, Usain Bolt. They're both on the curve nice. It's Bolt and Blake coming on. Bolt has the curve first. It's Bolt. He has the lead. Blake and Nathan comes forward. Bolt, Ashmead and Blake. We're coming on as well. It's Bolt and Blake on the inside. The double for Johan Blake. He's winning from Usain Bolt. Warren Weir third. 19.83 for Johan Blake. <laughs> Bolt second, and Warren Weir gets past Ashmead and takes third. The clock stops at 19.80. He's done the double. A hug from Usain Bolt. A double for Johan Blake. Yes, yes. We say that there might be a, a second sprint double champion here tonight, and it shows a fantastic curve. We see here Usain hustling off of the curve. Getting there, challenged by Mikhail Ashmead and the beast coming on the inside. Stepping up, knees high, stride arms very comfortable and sprinting, stride length really good. And you're saying just coming down, as we said, he's in the top three and that's the important thing. But the third place was up for grab and fighting for that third place. Looks like we are squeezed by past Ashmead. Michael, this hasn't happened in 16 races over four years. Undefeated is Usain Bolt over that time at 200 meters. On the inside, in the orange, is Johan Blake. Speeds passes, races track club hey, teammate, a battle for third. Weir wheels past Nikhil Ashmi to get third. It's Blake, Bolt, and Weir to London in the men's 200. In the men's 200. Good quality field, good trio. And, um, you know, it's a reality check. It's a reality check for Usain. And um, he's there. So Mr. Mills will now have to go back to the drawing board, use the scissors, and trim up the little loose ends that he has to trim up and get him ready for London 2012. But he's there, and that's the important thing. So Johan's time of 19.80. So, so we have Spencer, 5,000, 10,000. Shelly and Fraser Price, 100, 200. And uh, Johan Blake, 975, 1980. Here it is on the board. The sprint double, both not far behind at 19.83, and we're ahead of Ashmead, 20.03. Those three go to London to run the 200. Yes, and good representation there, very good representation. And um, I'm going lift my heart to, to Warren Weir, who is making his first individual uh, getting his first individual chance to compete at the Olympic Games and um, Michael, happy for him. Nikki Ashmead, 993 in the 100, chose to focus on the 200, doesn't make the team. What consolation for him? Yes, I think he's on the relay squad, right? Oh. Not sure, didn't run the 100. Oh, Congrats, yes. oh yes, oh yes. Johan and Usain, and uh, the world will have questions about this man, but he's on the team and heard an interview with Coach Mills. He will get set to brush up get ready get sorted for the olympic games where he's a defending champion definitely and if you notice he's stretching right now in the in the cool down area which says a lot yes normally goes to cool down this is the 200 off the curve blake on the inside of the curve behind ashmead and bolt both high knees but starts to muscle not fluent not speeding as usual and it's blake in lane three who steps by Steps quick on and off the ground. The steps for Bolt, lingering longer. Looks across. He knows that his teammate has passed him. Big battle. They haven't seen him race before. Here it is, twice in one weekend. And the winner is the world champion, Johan Blake. Yes, and Bolt really had to work hard to get up there. If you look, if you look at his, his physique right now, you see. He's tightening up, he's pushing, he's trying. He had to run hard. He had to run hard to get that second. But 
in the second, quite comfortable now. Shuts down, gets across the line. And where speeds past Ashmead, takes the third spot. And uh, it's racers, racers, racers. All three in the top three spots. And uh, a tremendous race with uh, Johan Blake. A brilliant run down the stretch. Again, showing his physical condition behind off the curve and a storming second hundred for the Bo Gale man from St. Jago and uh, on the racer's track. Yes, I'm happy for him. Upcoming, not upcoming, you can say he's here now, right? He's here, he's, he's here. a world champion, he's here. a big hug from the Olympic champion. To the world champion and uh, i think that's jamaica to the world isn't it <laughs> i would say so too we're going to go down to the world at trackside to not the right good run you one you know you're the better man of the day and i've just given thanks because he always motivated me how are you feeling now a long weekend, tired? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, no, not really, I'm a beast, you know, but um, I just feel a bit sore from the 100 meter. And as I said, you say now always motivate me, you tell me to keep, keep calm, even coming to this race, and that's what I did. Yeah, you won easily. You were surprised by that easy. Well, um, I wasn't surprised because I was working really hard, and I know you saying strength and his level, but you know, he's not 100%, so I have to just work and, and keep him afarm for the Olympics. Could you feel you saying on your shoulder there and coming up on you and you really seemed to, he was ahead at the turn and you pulled away from him on the stretch? Well, you know, um, yeah, I feel him um, on my right hand side, you know, in the race. Um, I have to just keep it focused and listen what sometimes you say about time to keep calm and also the coach and that's what I did. That's the world champion, Johan Blake. And uh, he... Uh, First... Has put in Michael uh, Banner performance in the 100 and 200, 970 and uh, 1980, and uh, just can't argue with his performance here. He, in my mind, has not put a foot wrong all season. First and second in the 100 and the 200, coached by Glenn Mills. Yes, and um, we're going to sprint up the track side to Usain Bolt. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, for me, for me, it, it, I can't decide that. Uh, the fans, the media, everybody will have to decide that. But for me, all I have to do, I'm about to the drawing board, figure out what I did wrong, and just work on it, pretty much. That's it. Uh, your start seems to be uh, a concern. Will you be focusing on that in the co remaining weeks? Well, that's, my, that's what my coach decided to decide. Uh, I think personally, I'm a little bit weak, but. For me, uh, three more weeks, hopefully those three weeks will be good enough to get myself back into shape. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to that. Any more meets before the Olympics? Yeah, I'm scheduled to run at Monaco, so looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks much, Usain. Huh? Usain Bolt there, his four-year, 16-race undefeated streak at 200, ended at the hands of his teammate, Johan Blake, but he shows good focus. He's thinking of the Olympic Games and what he has to do to get ready for London. Yes, and uh, that should be elementary. Um, coach, I saw a headline in, in, in the Gleaner this morning where Coach Mill said that Yuan was in better shape than, than um, you're seeing right now. And, and this has proven to be so.